How Rights and Amendments Work in the United States of America. First, we're going to talk about the Bill of Rights and the history behind it. The first ten amendments of the Constitution are called the Bill of Rights. It was written by James Madison as a solution to limit government power and protect individual liberties. It was pretty much added as a compromise for Federalists and Anti-Federalists. The Constitution also lacked limits on government power. Now, when it comes to the first ten amendments specifically, they cannot be taken away under any circumstance. What this means is that even the government isn't able to take it away because it cannot be taken away under any circumstance. However, the amendments that come after aren't considered rights and can be taken away. This is displayed historically with the repeal of the Prohibition Amendment. This amendment repealed the Prohibition Amendment, ultimately canceling out the Prohibition Amendment. The first 10 amendments, or the Bill of Rights, aren't provided by the government. They're actually the limits of power that the government has over our individual freedoms. When it comes to the Bill of Rights, the most well-known ones are the first, second, and fifth amendment. However, the least well-known ones are probably the most important ones of all, and that would be the ninth and tenth amendment. The ninth amendment pretty much says that anything that isn't said to be a right is automatically a right. It can't be misconstrued not to be a right legally. You would have to write it down as a law to prohibit it. The Tenth Amendment pretty much says that anything that isn't covered by the Constitution can be up to the people or the state, so long as it doesn't go against the Constitution. If it's already something that the Constitution protects, then there's no reason to make a law for it. In the circumstance that the government tries to make a law that goes against the Constitution, specifically against the Bill of Rights, then enacts that law and enforces it, you have the right to fight against it with lawsuits. If it gets to the point where the people have exhausted all peaceful avenues, and the government only answers with violence, it is your right as well as your duty to abolish that government by any means necessary. But you must exhaust every peaceful avenue before doing so. Which brings me to the most important amendment, the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment isn't just about the right to own guns and protect yourself. The Second Amendment is a reminder, a reminder to the American people, people in general. The Second Amendment reminds us that overall, we have the power, that these are all simply reminders and not provided by the government. All ten of these are for us to uphold ourselves. That the government does not have the right to take away any of these fundamental rights. And unfortunately, you must be willing to die for them. And if you're willing to die for them, you never will have to.